How's it going, folks? This year, uh, 2022, has already been incredible uh, with music and with power metal. And, uh, I mean, we had Dreamtale and, and we had um, uh, Saints and Sinners was incredible. And we had, um, uh, uh, what's the name, uh, Battle Beast and Timeless Rage. Just such awesome, awesome stuff already. Sabaton released an album. It, it, it's been wild. And, you know, we've had Grail Knights and we got uh, Victorious coming up. And Stradivarius announced a new album. We got a single, Blind Guardians got an album coming out. Fellowship just got signed to a label and they got a new album coming out. And now uh, we got Dragonland that's coming out with an album. Wild, 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 wild year. Uh, it's a great time to be a power metal fan, I tell you what. And uh, any Dragonland, the, the, just released a, a new single called The Power of the Night Star, which is also, uh, I believe, the name of the new album that's coming out October 14th. I'm pretty sure it was said October 14th, so a little a little while to wait, but I'm sure it's going to be well worth it, and we got a lot of stuff between now and then to, to keep us occupied, so <laughs> it'll be here before we know it, and I'm sure we'll get uh, more singles, but anywho, uh, you're all here to, to listen to this song, and, and I've just... Uh, talked your ear off for far too long as it is, so let's just listen to this bad boy. I can't wait. Rangers, go.
This will be attained when this is over and this battle That there, folks, is what we call around here a fantastic. Yeah, it's just a fantastic, pure and simple. I, I mean, I, I couldn't enjoy that anymore, or I would just ascend to a higher uh, being. Incredible, fantastic. Yeah, uh, just uh, what is there to say? I mean, uh, I. This is like what I look for in power metal. I mean, this is just right down my alley, right in that sweet spot of uh, classic slash modern style sounding power metal with those fantasy elements and just the sweeping chorus and, and movements in, in the music and uh, amazing keyboard and, and guitar work and the vocals with the range and those moments where we kind of die down the music and then you would just kind of hear his voice you know in a, a lower pitch kind of singing uh, I, I i just don't know what to say I, just amazing just absolutely amazing I, I love this song like i said i mean it just has that classic power metal sound uh fantasy power metal sound with some modern elements Wow, uh, I mean, I, I cannot wait for this album. Now, I mean, I was already excited, but now I, I am infinitely excited. I, I cannot wait. This this was just really, really great. Like I said, I mean, it just ha has so many great qualities to it. It has like anthem quality to it, you know, the chant worthy, sing worthy quality to it. The the melody is infectious and and it just really sweeping you know has a, a grand scale like an epic scale you can almost visualize this this fantasy world and, and the, these people and this power of the night star and it just all these elements you know it just really really great you know there's really not much more i have to say about it the musicianship the vocals everything was fantastic and the the melody was amazing and like i said it just had uh, several different movements and and just ways of going through the song so that nothing really grew stale or wore out its welcome. It, it just felt like this journey and uh, it was it was epic. So fantastic. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all thought of this bad boy here. Just wonderful. Like I said before, this year is nuts and it just gets nuttier by the day. Oh, so October 14th, I believe it is, their new album. I'm sure we're going to get another single or two between now and then. Oh, man, just to, just to get us more and more excited, just to give us, you know, little tastes to, to make us just hungrier, you know, for the album. We're, we're starving for it, but, you know, they're giving us little, little breadcrumbs here and there but that kind of makes you hungrier. You know, when you get to that point where you're really hungry, and it, it kind of fades a little bit. You know, you're so hungry that there's a, a period of time where the hunger kind of subsides and you just feel, you know you're starving, but it, you don't really feel like the, the stomach pains of, of hunger. But you know, as soon as you eat something, anything, boom, you're gonna get hit with that hunger. So it's like, I'm gonna either eat a big meal or I'm not gonna eat anything at all because I'm not gonna tease myself. Well, that's how I feel here. I, I, I was at a point of contentment, of starvation uh, when the, they announced that it was coming out with a new album, but now they've just fed me uh, uh, like a, a, a biscuit. And so now I'm just ravenous, 
with hunger for this album. And I'm sure in a little while they're going to give me another biscuit just when I, I've reached contentment of starvation again. Another biscuit just to get me ravenous for that. It's a vicious cycle, folks, but you get it. You get it. Anywho, that, that was uh, Dragonland with the Power of the Night Star. A fantastic. I'll catch you all next time. Ranger, out.